Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. Have you ever wondered what makes Bruce Lee a great fighter? Bruce Lee, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, is always the first name appear when it comes to martial arts or kung fu. Without doubt, many people recognize him as the best fighter of all time. One on one, without any rules, Bruce Lee is capable to take down anyone. In Bruce Lee's entire life, he had only one teacher, Yip Man. Yip Man is also known as Yip Man, was a Chinese martial artist. He was born in 1893 in Foshan, China. He was a master teacher of Wing Chun Kung Fu. He had many students who later became popular and one of his most popular students was Bruce Lee. Yip Man started learning Wing Chun from his teacher Chan Hua Sun in 1906 when he was 12 years old. He then moved to Hong Kong and started teaching Wing Chun. In 1953, 13 year old Bruce Lee started to learn Wing Chun from Yip Man because he wants to win every street fight he had back then. At that time, Yip Man's school was located at Lee Tat Street in Yao Ma Tei. According to historian, Bruce Lee attended all Wing Chun classes and never missed one. In 1958, Bruce Lee left Hong Kong and returned to the United States. Years later, on the 9th of July 1967, Bruce Lee founded Jeet Kune Do, where he refers JKD as non-classical, formless form of Chinese Kung Fu. Issues occur upon Bruce Lee returning to Hong Kong. Many Wing Chun practitioners think that Bruce Lee betray Wing Chun and create a new Kung Fu style called Jeet Kune Do. Even the media said Bruce Lee disrespect Yip Man because he formed his own Kung Fu school. Rumors are all over Hong Kong and people are giving pressure on Bruce Lee. One day, Bruce Lee were having dinner with his friends in Hong Kong. Two of his friends asked, what is your relationship with Yip Man? They don't believe Yip Man was Bruce Lee's teacher. They doubt if Bruce Lee was able to ask Yip Man out for a drink. We all know that Bruce Lee is a very straightforward person. He direct make a call to Yip Man and said, I am Bruce, am I your student? Yip Man paused for a moment and said, What do you say then? Bruce Lee then said, I am going to drive my car to pick you up for dinner now. Bruce Lee then pick up Yip Man and go to a restaurant in Hong Kong. Bruce Lee's friend were stand. From this story, we can confirm that the relationship between Yip Man and Bruce Lee was very good. Yip Man was one and only teacher of Bruce Lee. Yip Man died on 2nd December 1972 in his unit at 149 Tong Choi Street in Hong Kong from throat cancer, only 7 months before the death of Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee attended the funeral of Yip Man in December 1972. Some people say that the relationship between Bruce Lee and Yip Man was not good. They were saying Bruce Lee did not attend the funeral of Yip Man. What do you say then? Do you have anything to say after listening to this story and see those photos of Bruce Lee and Yip Man? Please do not hesitate to leave a comment below, we would like to hear from you. Last but not least, if you love our videos, please like, share, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching.